hugely popular new pastor, David Love, has no problem settling into his role as shepherd of his flock. I can't resist the temptation. They carried on an affair for 10 years. They had sex everywhere that they could. They would have sex at Randy's house. They would have sex at um, Pastor Love's house. They had sex in the church. And the whole time, Pastor Love is having an affair with Randy's wife while he's counseling Randy about his own issues with Teresa. Taking advantage of a rare, quiet moment at home, Teresa decides to tell her husband some totally unexpected news. I'm pregnant. Whose is it? Randy, please. It's ours. No, it's yours. No. I want to know. Who is the father? I had my vasectomy two years ago. <laughs> two years ago? You think I'm an idiot? Just couldn't believe it. I mean, it's hard to believe, you know, your son gets fixed so he don't have any more kids, and then she's pregnant. This was some sort of miracle from God that he was able to get her pregnant. You swear this is my baby? Yes. But this happy scene doesn't last long. Teresa has a miscarriage, and Randy, never having had much faith in the miracle baby story, removes Teresa from his life insurance policy. And Teresa was completely unaware of that. The very first step of faith is to believe that God exists. Randy and Teresa Stone Until spend I'm every Sunday morning at the New Hope Baptist Church. Cannot... Randy and Teresa devote many hours of their week to the church. Teresa volunteers in the kitchen and Randy helps Pastor David with the finances. Randy considered David one of his closest friends and confidants. After this week's service, Randy needs to get something off his chest. Randy, how are you? I was doing the books this month, and uh, it looks like you've been using church funds for your own personal expenses. Randy did not agree that this was a proper use of church funds. And as a result, he decided I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm resigning my finance position. And it'd be best if we found another church. He was out of the church for about two weeks before he was killed. Running his insurance business, it's a typically hectic day for Randy Stone. He was a hardworking man. He was always at the office. As he catches up on paperwork, someone shows up unexpectedly. There's no evidence that Randy knew what was about to happen to him. Hi there. The shooter was close enough to him and in front of him. If you don't mind, I just got to finish copying these, and then we can. On a spring day in Independence, Missouri, Teresa Stone returns from a lunchtime shopping spree to the insurance office she runs with her husband, Randy. Randy Stone, her husband of 19 years, is lying on the floor in a pool of blood. There was one gunshot. It was in, I believe, the right temple of his head. When police first got on the scene, they at first thought that Randy had shot and killed himself. However, they became suspicious because they couldn't find a gun anywhere. Are we in danger now? Don't worry. The Lord will keep us safe. Oh. Up against the car. Up against the car. You're under arrest for the murder of Randy Stone. Investigators quickly learned yeah, about Pastor Love's sense. liaison Andy with Teresa Stone. Teresa Stone had an airtight alibi. Teresa was very careful to trace her course of action that day. She was very cautious to make sure that she documented any sort of purchases, that she held on to those receipts. Police determined Pastor Love killed Randy Stone with the 40 caliber Glock Teresa claimed had been sold. If you don't mind, and I'm just gonna there was more incriminating evidence. It was December or January um, before Randy was killed that Teresa sent 
Pastor Love a text. I want him dead. I just want him out of my life. Caught up in a web of lies, Teresa implicates the pastor in the murder of her husband. The prosecution had to make a deal with the devil. Pastor Love was offered a plea deal for second degree murder and sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. David would marry Teresa and they would open this beautiful mega church of their dreams with all of the insurance money that Teresa would have collected. Teresa Stone pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit murder and was sentenced to eight years in prison. She was my brother's wife, and I mean, we we did a lot of things together. I mean, it was almost like, like I lost a sister, too. I felt betrayed. If I'd had a gun, I'd probably done her in myself. It's just a very bizarre triangle of sex, religion, and homicide. 